The grades are in and most of your kids' schools are passing. Indiana State School Superintendent Tony Bennett recently released grades evaluating district performance on ISTEP. Most of them did well with A's, but others say they want improvement. Beginning our Education Watch 10 tonight, News 10's Rhonda Moore spoke with one district that's focusing on raising their grade. We know what a relation is. We know what a function is. Just a couple of weeks in, and these students are at full attention, with one goal in mind, going for the A. You can say that's his focus as well for the district. Having the grade that was given to us as a C, we can, we can deal with that because we know we're, we're moving in the right direction. David Chapman, superintendent of South Vermilion Schools, is on a mission. Of the five schools in the district, three received C's, one a D, and the other an F. It's a C average altogether, and that's not good enough for Chapman. The rules of the game have changed. We're looking at a whole new set of rules. And whether we like them or dislike them, or agree with them or not, they are what they are, and we, we need to follow them. That's exactly what they're doing. More training for teachers, summer school for failing students, and this, a policy redefining homework as a positive. All tools to get scores up and keep the schools in good standing. So far, it's a hit with some parents. I think it's going to be, you know, nice to have that, you know, oncoming freshmen or sophomores to have that. So um, I wish they would have had it for my kids. <laughs> and for parents who say it's teaching to the test. I don't like to say teaching to the test at all. Uh, I think we need to teach what the expectations are. Great expectations that mean these students will continue to excel in their education knowing that their district isn't settling for just a passing grade. In Vermilion County with photojournalist Nick Nabesny, Rondrell Moore, News 10. It should be noted that several factors were used in the grading process in addition to test scores. You can find a link to how your child's school did by going to our website, WTHITV.com.